Hello everyone, Kasim Khan is here. Please subscribe my channel and press bell button for more updates. So guys, thank you so much for watching my video. And today we are going to learn the concept of risk and return. This is chapter number five in Van Horn book. So the outline of today's lecture is uh, in first step, we will define risk and return. What is risk and return and how we calculate the risk and return. And in second step, we will uh, we will know about the probability distribution to my other risk and in final step we will learn about the attitude towards risk what kinds of the different personalities uh, risk, risk personalities has been observed in finance and what kind of different uh, personality risk and uh, risk and return relation has been defined in behavioral finance so uh, here is the definition of return. Uh, return is basically the income received on an investment plus any change in market price, usually expressed as a percent of the beginning market price of the investment. Here is the equation of the return. On the basis of that equation, we also define the return. R is equal to uh, return on your security, return on your investment that is equal to DT. DT is dividend on the uh, stock security. Uh, DT is your basically income received on uh, on investment over the time period. And here can be also interest in the form of bond security. So it can be either DT, it can be uh, or uh, interest. Plus PT is uh, current price of the security. PT is your current price minus PT minus one. Uh, PT minus one is your uh, price of the security in previous uh, period. Uh, this is the price of a security in the last year divided by PT minus one. So we uh, define return uh, on the basis of income received on an investment plus a change in price and this change in price is basically as a percent of the beginning market price. So here is an example of return. The stock price for stock A was $10 per share one year ago. The stock is currently trading at $9.5 per share and shareholder just received a $1 dividend. What return was earned over the past year? Here are some information about this, uh, uh, about this problem. The first one is the stock A uh, last year price uh, that is $10. This is PT minus one. And the current price of the uh, stock on which it is uh, traded in the market that is $9.5. Uh, and the income over the time period uh, we are receiving that is $1. So what uh, what is the expected return over the time period? So we can calculate return with the help of equation that is R is equal to one dollar plus a 9.50 current price minus the previous period price so the overall we, after all we will get five percent so the five percent is the return over the past year uh, in this uh, in stock a so after that uh, what is risk and how we define the risk the variability of returns from those that are expected that is known as risk we can also define risk with this way uh, this is the level of uncertain uh, uncertainty in the outcome. Uh, basically, आपके जो uh, outcomes हैं वो कितनी uncertain हैं, कितनी उनके अंदर uncertainty exist uh, करती है that uh, that is uh, that is risk. So, what rate of return do you expect on your investment saving this year? What rate will you actually uh, actually uh, does it matter if it is a bank CD or a share of stock so all these questions and uh, the answer of these questions associated with the risk so uh, how much you are sure uh, you will get the expected return uh, how much the uh, level of uh, how much you are certain uh, about the rate of return so how we measure the risk and how we define uh, how we calculate the risk so we will learn so here is the uh, determining the expected return in the discrete distribution. R, R star is uh, R bar is equal to basic. Uh, that is the expected return for the asset for any security. That is equal to summation n into i is equal to one. R i is the return uh, of as uh, security any security. It can be i j k. R i is the return and p is the probability of that return occurring. How much, uh, uh, how much there is a possibility that return will occur. So 
uh, with the help of this uh, equation uh, in this in probability distribution we can calculate the return of any security r bar is equal to summation n into i is equal to 1 r i into p i r bar is the expected return for the asset r i is the return for the ith possibility p i is the probability of that return occurring n is the total number of possibilities so here is the star pw and there is there are uh, expected returns over the time period that is minus uh, 0 0.15 minus is equal uh, minus dot 0 03 and uh, min, uh, dot 0 uh, 9 dot 21 basically minus is determining the direction of return so here is the total sum of the return and here is the column of possibilities their probability of their occurrence and that is 10 percent 20 percent 40 percent so the summation of uh, the probability must be equal to 100 percent and this sum must be equal to one so when we multiply uh, the returns with their expected possibilities of occurrence finally we will get 0 0.09 that is the expected return on that stock over the time period so the expected return r bar for stock BW, uh, BW is 0.09 or 9 percent. So with this uh, way we can calculate the return on any individual security over the time period. So here is the, uh, the standard deviation determination of standard deviation how we can measure the risk. You know uh, maybe you learned in the statistical course, uh, standard deviation uh, is the measure of variability of distribution around its means. It's a measure how, uh, how there is a variability in outcomes, how, how the variance exists in outcome uh, around its means. So uh, with the help of standard deviation, we can measure the risk uh, risk in the return. Hum standard deviation ke through security ke returns may kitna risk associate karta, kitna risk exist karta we find out so the equation of standard deviation is equal to summation n into i is equal to 1 r i is the uh, return of specific security minus r bar is the expected return uh, square and to pi is the probability of the return occurrence so uh, with this equation we can find out the uh, risk uh, of uh, any return any expected returns in the future so standard deviation is equal to uh, standard deviation is a statistical measure of the variability of a distribution around its mean. So it is the square root of the variance. If you know the variance of your investment plan, you simply take a square root. Then uh, you can also find the standard deviation as well. Note uh, this is for a discrete distribution. Uh, what is discrete distribution? Discrete is a non-continuous distribution uh, in which we take any random uh, values. So uh, this equation is for the discrete distribution, not uh, continu for continuous distribution. So uh, and in this chapter, we will uh, mostly uh, we will learn only the discrete distribution, not the uh, continuous distribution. So here is the stock VW. Uh, uh, here is the column of expected returns over the time period. Here uh, returns over the time period. Here is the probability of their return occurrence when we multiply uh, security returns with their probability of occurrence. Finally, we get 0.09%. This is our expected return on this, that security. When we uh, put these values in the standard deviation equation, RI is our return on that security minus r bar is our expected return when we take its square then we multiply with 0 0.10 finally we will get uh, 0 0.00576 and when we sum up all these uh, values in this column finally we will get 0 0.01728 this is basically uh, the sum up of the standard deviation equation when we take its under root uh, finally, the value will get for standard deviation that is 0 0.1315 or 13.15 percent. So the expected return of this security is 9 percent, and the risk associated with that return is 13.15. This is the uh, if this uh, standard deviation determines the risk. If uh, this value is higher, it means there is a high risk associated. And if the value is low, it means uh, low risk associated in the returns. And there are less chances in the variability of the return. 
low is good, high is uh, uh, moving to the high riskiness. So here is the coefficient of variation, the ratio of standard deviation of a distribution to the mean of that distribution. It is a measure of relative risk. Uh, basically, what is coefficient of variation? Uh, standard deviation is a measure uh, of risk, but uh, this measure is not uh, very good and reliable because it ignores the size and the scale of uh, investment. So, if you are, uh, if you have a um, option of multiple investment plan, and if you uh, want to choose uh, the best one. And then you uh, can't rely only on the standard deviation measure. You need to consider so many other factors. And so uh, the coefficient of variation is a reliable measure uh, in the, uh, at the time to take a decision for any investment plan. So because uh, it, it considers the size, it considers the scale of investment. So it measure uh, a relative risk, if not only measure the risk, uh, because it takes the it uh, measure the relative risk with the expected return. So CV is equal to standard deviation divided by expected return. CV of BW is 13.15 divided by 0 0.09. Uh, finally, we will get 1.46. So this is the uh, CV value of our uh, investment plan. That is 1.46. What is uh, meaning of 1.46 and what it is representing. If the value of CV is higher, it means uh, the, there is a high risk associated with the investment plan. Uh, if there is a low, uh, if you found a low value at this end, it means uh, less, uh, security is less risky. So, if the value is less than the value is less than value is less it means the security is more risky. Hai. So, because uh, riskiness, the uh, denominator, is we have standard deviation. Hai. So, the value is more, it means standard deviation is more. So, coefficient of uh, coefficient of variation, it is a measure of relative risk, and low the value is good for investment plan. So, here is an example for illustration of this concept. Here are uh, here is, uh, are two investment plan, uh, investment A, investment B. And in uh, investment A, the expected return is 8%, and the investment B, that is 20%. On the basis of expected return, investment B is good. And, uh, on the uh, basis of standard deviation, investment A is uh, less risky as compared to, uh, to the investment B because the standard deviation of investment A is below and lower than the investment B. But if we see the coefficient of variation, uh, it determines the relative risk. So the investment A is higher as comparative to investment B, and this variation is very bigger. So uh, coefficient of variation is very helpful in choosing the investment plan and to measure the uh, to look uh, uh, the to look risk in uh, deeply. So the coefficient of variation is a measure of relative dispersion risk, a measure of risk per unit of expected return. The larger the CV, the larger uh, the relative risk of the investment. So what are risk attitude? What are different kinds of the risk personalities have been observed in behavioral finance? Feeling about uh, risk differ among uh, managers and uh, forms the three basic risk preference behavior. Uh, there are different kinds of the risk behavior uh, has been observed in different personalities, and they have uh, they have a different attitude towards risk and uh, towards a return and the investment plan. The first one is risk averse. The second is risk indifferent, and the third is risk seeking. Uh, who are the risk averse? Uh, the attitude toward risk uh, in which an increased return would be required for an increase in risk. Risk was uh, more personalities of the end, Joe. Those personalities who don't like to take high risk or uh, uh, they are reluctant to invest in uh, risk, uh, risky securities or other, uh, let's suppose, other uh, risk later be and to sad, who high expected a uh, high return be expected. Then. So, for the risk averse manager, the required return increases for an increase in risk because. They shy away from risk. These managers require high expected returns to compensate them for taking greater risk. 
these are risk averse personalities and they always expect a higher return on taking on a high risk so who are risk seeking the attitude towards risk in which a decreased return would be accepted for an increased risk uh, these kind of personalities always like to invest in risk uh, risky uh, projects and risky securities and their uh, attitude even accept uh, accept the securities in which return is not increasing with the ratio of uh, increase in the risk so for the risk seeking managers the required return decrease for an increase in risk theoretically because they enjoy risk these managers are willing to give up some return to take more risk however such behavior would not be likely to benefit the firm so what is risk in different the attitude towards risk in which no change in return would be required for an increase in risk for the risk in different managers the required return does not change as risk goes from x1 to x2 in a sense no change in return would be required for the increase in risk risk in different personalities uh, their attitude uh, not required uh, the uh, not required the increase and the change in return with the change in the risk so their effect is uh, zero and these kind of the medium uh, uh, medium scale personalities who don't expect a uh, return with the increase in risk so uh, in it was all about in section 2 we will learn about the portfolio and diversification it was all about risk and return and their calculation with the help of distribution thank you so much for watching my video uh, dear students if you have still any question you can ask in the comments i really uh, like to answer the question uh, and if you know more about the portfolio and their diversification and the capital asset pricing model, you must watch the second video. Thank you so much for watching my video. Take care, stay happy, stay blessed. Bye-bye.